I think I'm critical because I'm one of the hottest people here. Period. It sounds like the ultimate reality show. Marshawn Lynch versus Ronda Rousey. I'm seeing it for free on Mars. Four people locked in a simulated mission to Mars. With limited food options and minimal contact with loved ones, they'll have to survive together in tight quarters for one year. But it's not Survivor Mars Edition. You're not trying to vote anyone off the island. <laughs> no, and we certainly hope the crew doesn't either. These four volunteers, selected from more than 4,000 applicants, entered a 3D printed Mars habitat at Johnson Space Center in Houston last night for the first of 365 days they'll spend inside together. The habitat, simulating what life would be like on the red planet, has bedrooms, a kitchen, living area, work areas, and two bathrooms, 1,700 square feet in all. Doesn't sound so bad until you hear the rules. Restricted food, restricted water, restricted personal items. Even communicating with family is restricted. Despite being in Texas, NASA will simulate the time it takes for messages to travel from Mars to loved ones back on Earth. They'll have to determine what they elevate back to mission control and wait 44 minutes for the response. And if they want to go outside, they'll be doing so in this. A replica of the Martian surface, complete with Mars murals and red sand, where the crew will conduct simulated spacewalks using virtual reality. So, what's it all for? This research is really designed to inform the different resource trades that we'll have to make when we go to Mars someday. At least there's no chance of ending up like Matt Damon. So, yeah, I blew myself up. This is the first of three missions designed to simulate living on Mars, each lasting one year.